going to show you how I blow dry and flat iron my hair. However, I had a lot of lights on and a blow dryer going and I blew a breaker. So in the course of that, I lost the first part of this video, which is me blow drying my hair. Um, I have a little bit more to go, so I'm going to do that really quick and then I'm going to show you how I section off and flat iron my hair. it on it doesn't take very long to heat it up but I'm using my TG hardcore flat iron now I've had this one for several years um, I was told that the manufacturer of this is the same one that manufactured the original Chi irons and now manufactures them now Chi for a period of time if you bought a flat iron probably three or four years ago and it was a Chi and you thought it was amazing and you bought it and it was kind of crappy it's because they changed manufacturers, their products suffered, but then they went back. And in that lull period, TG swooped up that manufacturer and made this iron. So that's what I use. It has um, a temperature dial here and then a simple on and off switch. Um, so it's heating up. What I'm going to do now, I am going to go on and spray my bangs. I am a little bit fanatical about them being shaped a certain way and I don't really want them to move. So I'm going to spray them. So just in case I get hot, like they don't go nowhere. So I'm using at the moment, um, I use a working spray and then I also use this Stay Firm Finish by Wella Professionals. It's a finishing hairspray. It's a firm hold, but it's not too hard to like break back through. Um, I'm trying to think what would be firmer than it. It's, it's definitely not as firm as some, as some of like the big sexy hair kind of hairsprays. Um, but I like a firm hairspray and it does the trick for me. So I've already got my, my bangs kind of set and what I'm going to do just for some heat protection, um, since it was lost with the first part of the video, I prepped my hair with three products. Um, the first being my leave-in, which is the Brilliance leave-in balm for long hair. And then in through my mid shaft and ends, which on me, I kind of consider kind of ears down. I used Wella's Velvet Amplifier. And I use two pumps that on my hair, which isn't that long, but I don't have an issue with it weighing me down. It could be just because of all of my wound blondness or whatnot, but two pumps is totally fine without overdoing it. And then just through my crown, kind of at my root and in through where I didn't put the velvet amplifier, I use Pureology's Pure Volume Instant Levitation Mist. This you can kind of go crazy with. Um, I use it as a root lifter. It definitely has a softer feel than like a mousse-based root lifter. Um, I would say probably three to five spritzes on even, even fine to medium hair, and you're going to get just a very like soft volume. Like you can tell my hair is like, it's not like a crunchy, like it's still soft, but even just kind of lifting it up like that, you can get some good volume. So our flat iron is nice and hot now. So what I'm going to do... I normally do kind of three sections and I like my hair to have some volume to it so when you're doing that and I'll show you do a section your first kind of parting is going to be from ear to ear and then just flip that hair up and I'm using um, these are Pureology clips but it's just like an angry shark claw um, Keep your comb handy, kind of comb through. I don't use my comb too much when I'm flat ironing. Um, just a lot going on with the hands. But what you wanna do, take your flat iron, and I was told one time, just for you know kicks and giggles, 
If you want your hair like bone, 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 bone straight, if you take your iron vertically like that and like take it straight out from your head, it's gonna leave like a crisper, like straight kind of a texture to the hair. Since that's not really what I want, I want it to kind of be like smooth blown out. I kind of bend my wrist a little bit and, and almost like wrap it around my head and my neck. So kind of just do three large sections with the back of your hair. If your hair is coarser, if it's curlier, um, you may need to do a few more passes. But I like to bring, when I flat iron, everything kind of toward my face. Just wrap it around there. And that's, to me, it's just nice and soft, but there's movement to it. It's not like bone straight. So I'm going to drop and go to my second section. I'm going to drop it out. And now I'm going to go from like lower recession temple area and make a horseshoe parting. Flip it away. I'm going to have that down. Um, I forgot it with that underneath section, but what I'm going to do just lightly, um, I'm going to spray it in my hands, but I'm going to use Wella's Shimmer Delight Shine Spray. It's going to help protect against the heat of our flat iron. I'm going to just do two mists in our hand. It's a fairly fine mist, but just to be safe so we don't get oily. But you definitely want to make sure you're using a heat protectant on your hair so that you'll have hair wound. Same concept, kind of get your wrist in there and just bend it around towards your face. My hair is super fine here and susceptible to like just humidity, so I always do an extra pass there. And then continue that. Similar, um, almost working in diagonal back sections, even though we're not doing serious, serious sections here. Just kind of wrap, wrap it around your head. And then go to the other side. And it's okay, like in the back, if you feel like you're overlapping, it's definitely okay to do that to an extent because sometimes it's hard to get to the back of your head. You know, like your sides and the top are really easy for us to get to, but back there is kind of like no man's land, you can't see it. So if you, if you were to kind of double it up back there, you'll be absolutely fine. And then drop that top section. And since we want a little bit of volume in through there, I'm not going to go all the way up to the root area. I'm going to kind of position my hair like I want. I am going to use my comb a little bit here. But in that same kind of format, wrapping it right around your face. I think the trick is, and I tell this to my clients, and it, it fits whether you're curling, whether you're blow drying, is sections. And the truth of the matter is, um, granted the breaker blue, but the process of blow drying and going through and flat ironing or curling on my hair length, and I have about medium texture, it is, you know, damaged, so there's dryness that you have to combat. Um, I mean, it's a 30 minute process. So you have to really ask yourself if you want to invest that amount of time into it. Um, I know when I'm watching videos and like girls fast forward, like I'll probably do a little bit. Um, it's kind of deceiving because you're like, oh, well, that was so easy. But they don't ever tell you, well, actually, that was a 45 minute like hairstyle. So just so you know, give yourself some time um, and just feel it out. All right, so you see I've got like those little perfect natural wave humidity pieces there. Um, I like the way the rest of that is. I'll kind of show you how my layers are laying. Woo, swivel! And in through, bangs are a little bit tricky um, to flat iron. Like we can see, I've got I've got a nice little shape there. I've got a good bend with them, but I know this guy, he's going to do this number a lot more. So just to show him his boss. I'm going to lift up that section, and as long as 
you keep, you know, you want to keep good tension on the iron, but don't like crank straight down really hard because that's when you can increase your chances of breakage and that's when you're going to be like mm -hmm, iron line, mm -hmm, iron line. So keep your wrist kind of soft. And bang, the funny thing about that is with your layers, we wanted them to go towards your face. Bangs, honestly, so they kind of push to the side and it goes with that flow. Do a subtle away from the face motion. So oh, there we go. There we go. Now I'm just going to do a brief little comb through. We've already got our shine spray in there. And you see, I can easily just comb through those bangs there. You do a little bit of shift. Shift and lift, shift and lift. And do one more kind of final spray of the bangs. I will say, like, these jokers, I, I don't like them to move. Like, I think that's how I know I was like an 80s child. Like, I, I want to be able to run my hands through the rest of my hair. I don't want my, I don't want my bangs to move. All right. So there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is how I flat iron my hair. Sorry about the blow dry section. I'm kind of frustrated about it. But uh, anyway, uh, that is how I flat iron my hair. And also, welcome to my office. As you can see, we have never repainted it since we've been here. We've lived in this house three years and I still have a little dancing frog border up there. I will say I have gotten good use out of that shelf that the last owners left that obviously had a sweet little girl. <laughs> but anyway, all right, well, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you later. Bye.